Hello everyone. In this video, we want to talk about the meaning of uh, temperature. We want to define uh, what is a temperature. Uh, also, we want to talk about the factors that affect the temperature uh, and what are the things that we use or what is the equipment that we use to measure the temperature and the scales to use uh, the temperature. Let's, just, let's just start talking about the temperature. Since we said that all uh, particles, they are in a constant move movement, all particles, they have kinetic energy because they are moving. So the temperature is a measure of the average, okay, average kinetic energy of all the particles in an object. Again, the temperature is the average kinetic energy of all the particles in an object. It's not the total, it's the average, okay? So, the warmer a substance is, the faster its particles move. And for example, if you have uh, two pieces of iron, okay? This one is iron, piece number one, and piece number two, okay? Both of them uh, they this one uh, this uh, the temperature for each the first one which is 30 Celsius okay degree and the second one the temperature of it I heat it up I uh, found the temperature of it it's 50 Celsius and as you know iron here is a solid both of them, uh, they are uh, vibrating in their place. But which one is vibrate? The particles are vibrating more and moving more. For sure, uh, not one. This is one and this is two. For sure, number two. Because the warmer a substance is, the faster its particles move. Okay? So, this one here is clear now. Let's uh, continue. Um, before we talk about the scale of temperature, I want you to talk. Uh, I want you to understand more how uh, the warmer a substance is, the faster its particle uh, move. I want you to look at this uh, video and watch it carefully and write notes while you are watching. Let's take a look at the relationship between kinetic energy and temperature. Click to learn about this relationship. Okay, uh, look here, uh, we want to learn about the relationship between kinetic energy and the temperature. We know now the temperature is the average uh, average uh, kinetic energy of all particles, okay? A measure of average. But what about the kinetic energy? Let's look at the temperature for different temperature and the uh, kinetic energy. Let's look when uh, the bar, uh, here you have like a beaker, here you have the thermometer, here you have a pencil burner or a source of heat. Uh, Let's look at the particles when it's 20 Celsius. Listen carefully. Kinetic energy is the energy of motion. The particles in matter have kinetic energy because they're constantly in motion. Temperature is a measure of the average kinetic energy of the particles in matter. Look at the 20 Celsius, how it was moving. Let's look at 60 Celsius. When you add energy to matter, the particles in the matter start to move faster. The average kinetic energy of the particles increases because they're moving faster, so the temperature increases. Here, energy is added in the form of heat. Okay, what about if I added uh, heat more to 100 Celsius? Look at the particles. If you add enough energy to the beaker of water, Particles will gain enough energy to break free from their attraction to other particles. These particles are gas particles. Temperature does not change during changes of state. Instead, the added energy is used to overcome the attraction between particles. You remember, we took this in the previous semester, we said you increase the temperature of the particles, they start to move more and more and more, so the attraction will be less and they will start to escape from each other to convert from liquid to a gas, and we said during converting from liquid to a gas, which is evaporation, here the temperature it won't increase till all particles converted into a gas, it will stay constant, if you remember we took this uh, last uh, semester. 
So this is about the meaning of the temperature and how the warmer substance it has more uh, move uh, the particles can move uh, faster. Let's move now to talk about how is temperature measured. I mean, what is the thing that we use to measure the temperature and what are the temperature scales? Let's focus on this to talk about it. Listen carefully and we will discuss each point together. Look at it. How do you measure temperature? A thermometer is an instrument used to measure temperature. So, the instrument that we use to measure the temperature, which is called thermometer, okay? Thermometers measure temperature using one of three common scales, Fahrenheit, Celsius, or Kelvin. There are three different uh, scales for a thermometer. Uh, these are three, the first one in Fahrenheit, uh, the other one is Celsius, the third one which is Kelvin. Let's look about these, these three scales and uh, look at how they are different from each other. What's the difference between each one of them? Kelvins and degrees are units of temperature, just like a centimeter is a unit of length. There are 100 degrees between the freezing point of water and the boiling point of water on the Celsius scale. Similarly, there are 100 kelvins between the freezing point of water and the boiling point of water on the Kelvin scale. But there are 180 degrees between the same points on the Fahrenheit scale. So kelvins and degrees Celsius are the same size, but degrees Fahrenheit are smaller. Okay, let's look at these three scales, what the difference between them. Uh, let's look carefully at each one of them. Let's uh, look first at Celsius. The uh, here in Jordan, actually, we most uh, we like uh, we used uh, more uh, uh, we use uh, Celsius. For example, for the weather, for your body temperature, we always use uh, Celsius. Uh, how if you look at the scale of Celsius, the difference between the here you take like they take like two main points. Okay, the standard points for the pure water they took the freezing point and the boiling point the difference between the freezing point and boiling point which is 100 okay so the, uh, here as you see <coughs> uh, for uh, for uh, for the celsius uh, from uh, zero which is the freezing point zero celsius and what the boiling point which is 100 uh, 100 celsius what about fahrenheit Fahrenheit here, uh, the difference between the freezing point and the boiling point of the pure water, they use a standard, they use pure water, they found the freezing point 32 uh, Fahrenheit and for the boiling uh, point of water in Fahrenheit, a scale 212, but what about Kelvin, the, boiling, uh, the freezing point which is 273 Kelvin and the boiling point which is 373 Kelvin. And here you have to know the Fahrenheit and Celsius scale are divided into degrees. And when you say, you have to say, for example, zero Celsius degree, we say like this. Okay? For example, here in Fahrenheit, the boiling point, uh, the freezing point of water, which is a 32 Celsius. Uh, sorry, Fahrenheit degree with this. Uh, this is a small zero above, like as can you see here. Okay, the Kelvin scale is divided into Kelvin, and you can say 20, uh, 273, only 273 Kelvin K. You don't say what degree. What is the degree? A degree Fahrenheit represents. A smaller interval. What is the degree? Let's talk about uh, the uh, degree here. Um, uh, let's say for this one, just hold on. So the degree here, uh, which is here, as we said, for Celsius and Fahrenheit, a uh, temperature is measured in units called a degree. What is a degree? Are equally spaced unit between two. Point, uh, two points, okay? Uh, for example, like this one, like this one for here for Fahrenheit and Celsius, okay? But what about uh, Kelvin? For a Kelvin scale, no degree uh, sign is uh, used, uh, and instead the unit is uh, just used like a Kelvin as we uh, mentioned. Um, 
here for these uh, three uh, different uh, skills uh, it depends sometimes on the country uh, sometimes in Jordan here we use what we use Celsius Fahrenheit actually for example in United States we they use uh, Fahrenheit uh, scale uh, let's talk about uh, the Celsius uh, the scale was developed in the any uh, 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 depending on two points uh, main points we as I mentioned uh, zero Celsius and uh, which is the freezing and the boiling point of a pure water so they are uh, 100 degrees in the Celsius they are uh, if you want it uh, to look at uh, the scale uh, 100 degree okay uh, or 100 equal uh, units okay uh, between these two temperature between the boiling and uh, freezing uh, point uh, if we want to talk about uh, the Fahrenheit uh, the Fahrenheit the pure for the pure water the freezing point again which is 32 Fahrenheit degree you have to say deg degrees okay and boil uh, boiling point which is 212 Fahrenheit degrees thus uh, these uh, there are 180 degrees equal units between the freezing point and the boiling point so the difference here between the boiling and the freezing which is 100 80 the difference between here 100 only unit, degree units or equal units what about uh, Kelvin uh, the scale was uh, uh, yeah and for this one uh, the equal units in the Kelvin scale are called the Kelvins not degrees okay on the Kelvin scale pure water freezing as you see with 273 Kelvin without degree and boiling uh, boils at 373 Kelvin there are 100 Kelvin if you look at the difference also here the difference between the boiling and the freezing which is 100 units okay equal units between these two temperature the lowest temperature on the Kelvin the lowest temperature if you're talking about the lowest temperature on uh, Kelvin which is called zero absolute zero what is absolute zero actually absolute zero is the temperature at which the motion of particles stops is this uh, uh, um, Yani, uh, is this uh, uh, correct? Is this, this true? Available to make the uh, particles not moving? As you know, all particles are moving. Actually, they uh, tried to do this in the laboratories, but actually, in uh, in real uh, life, you can't uh, find it, uh, zero uh, absolute zero. But uh, this one only uh, they uh, tried to reach this uh, value in uh, in laboratories uh, only. Okay. So here, if you want to compare between these three um, uh, three scales, 100 Celsius degree uh, here, which is equal to 212 Fahrenheit degree, equal to what? 373 Kelvin without degree. This is very important to know this. So this is about the skills. If you have any question about uh, today's lesson, you can send me your question. Um, thank you for listening.